Hey everyone, welcome to TNIB's Anime Club, the show where we get together once a week to talk about anime, mm -hmm. uh, or this is actually a group watch. Yeah, so we're watching with you. Watching with you, the viewer. Mm -hmm. Uh, for those on the audio side, you can't see us pointing at you, but know that we are. They can see us. Okay. They have synesthesia. Yes. Uh, we are doing My Hero Academia and Keys and Iver episode four this week. Mm -hmm. Because those are what aired. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, we're behind an episode on Hero Academy yeah. because we're keeping it in line with each other. And speaking of which, again, if this is your first time listening to this show, please check out the first episode in the series where we get down to the nitty gritty details of how we decided on this and what the rules we've but decided on and blah, blah, blah. Also, we're just going to spoil the shit out of these episodes. So that's generally what we do. Um, with that, let's get started. My Hero Academy. There we go. Episode four. Four. Uh, so, yo, they're 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 at the school, and the school is apparently large enough to have multiple cities there, just as testing grounds, just for fun. Yeah. Which is, that's a very anime school. It is. Which which what 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 throws me off is this school, is apparently in the city that they've already been living in this Wait. entire time. Yeah. And they didn't know this. <laughs> They have many cities within the city. Yeah, but I mean, okay, sure. Sure, whatever. Uh, like, what happened? Like, our hero is nervous about getting points and stuff. Uh, I think the major takeaway points is that we finally see uh, just a fraction of All Might's power yeah. within our within Izuku. Mm. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know his name now. I, I said it last time. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. But I, had, I was guessing. I wasn't sure. Uh, but now I'm sure. Mm. Within Izuku... Uh, yeah, he used part of mm -hmm. One for All, mm -hmm. which was super cool. Mm -hmm. He punched a robot so hard. He jumped so hard he broke his legs, and he punched a robot so hard he broke his arms. Yeah. I didn't expect the show to get that graphic. I did. Really? Yeah. Did you? Because of how they draw him and crying. Oh, okay. I knew the show was going to get gruesome at some point. Yeah, I don't think that like his tears are gross the way they're animated. But... I think they're gross. I think the way they show his gums when he's like sobbing. Oh, okay. When he's yelling and they show, like, the reds of his eyes. Yeah. I think that's all nasty. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the thing that happened that I that I guessed happened. Yeah. Uh, which was the, the points weren't <clears throat> the only thing mm -hmm. uh, that they were judging it on. It was based on of other things, like whether you save other people or how much you act like a hero. Yeah. Uh, and that zero pointer was actually worth a lot of points. because it's worth quite a bunch. You save a bunch of people. Worth all the points. Pretty much. Uh, and, yeah, so our boy's enrolled in the school now. Yeah. Uh, or he's got a... Is he... Wait, well, yeah, he's enrolled in the school. Mm -hmm. uh, the next episode, I assume, would be more school stuff. School life at High School Hero Academy. Yeah. Uh, it's, man, I still can't get over seeing part of his power. So we, we now for sure know why he was like, listen, you need to train your body. Yeah. Because if you don't, you're done. Mm. Like, and even after that 10-month training regimen... He still the power of him jumping broke his legs. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty intense. And then when he's falling from the sky, you just the the three broken limbs he had. Yeah, like they're just like they were noodles. all like just noodles. Yeah. I was like, oh, and like scenes when he's on the ground, uh, like his legs are in positions they should not be. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a little gross, mm. but mm. it was cool. I really yeah. enjoyed this episode. Yeah, I think this was the first episode of the show that I just really liked. Yeah, it was good. Um, they also showed off more. Uh, of the other students and their abilities yeah. in, in action. and Our boy Carman. He's pretty good. He just <laughs> he just kicks dudes yeah. and runs really fast. Um, uh, the girl who, the telekinesis girl, yeah. we saw that she has to actually touch things yeah. for it to work. So she has to, uh, she has to put her hands on right. whatever the object is she wants to levitate. And it doesn't look like she has... Uh, it's either that she doesn't have the most amount of power or that she doesn't have complete control because she has to concentrate really hard. It's just concentrate really hard. She's never doing anything that's too crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then also she has to like do a specific hand motion. She's got to do some, uh, um, what's Naruto, Naruto, what do they do? Oh, the hand yeah. jutsu thing. Yeah, the jutsus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she has to do like a hand jutsu to, uh, to release it. Yes. And, but her power is still pretty cool. Right now it's just making things float. Yeah. Uh, uh, she can drop stuff from my head. I think I think the most impressive power that was revealed was the nurse's power. Oh yes, the <laughs> the old lady, the old lady, the forever young nurse who's yeah. actually an old lady. Um, she kisses you and you instantly get healed. Yeah, she gives you gummies too. 
She has like just oh, a, yeah. she has a bunch of gummy she bears does. on hand at all times. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but her thing is like she kisses you, and then you just instantly get healed. Mm. And it's like what? What's yeah. the downside was, to that? Uh, there's no downside. I guess. Um, yeah. But she's clearly been there for a while. I assume that she's just constantly healing herself because mm. I don't know, like. It seems like she can use it on yeah. herself. So, uh, and then uh, towards the beginning of the episode, I just want to say they also showed off like the records of the show. Not the, like uh, like All Might was like the winner of the something something something. Oh yeah yeah. But the one that was best was the guy with the best jeans. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's what his he, name? I don't know, but he had the denim those zipped. Yeah, up he had jeans that was zipped up all the way up above his nose, and he wore yeah. a belt. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I laughed at that. I was like, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of good gags in the show. Yeah. Well. Uh, but yeah, it was a quick episode. Like, a lot happened, but not a lot to talk about happened. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it did feel quick. Like, mm. it, it was like, school battles happened, our hero cried for a bit, and then when someone was in danger, his, he his broke hero... broke everything. Yeah, his hero ability came in handy, he squeezed his buttocks, and then... And he yelled <laughs> smash. Yeah. Oh, but he didn't have it with a, with a good... Uh, he didn't say, like, New York smash. He yeah. didn't say Texas smash. Hey, they teased us. They're like, if I Detroit smash the ground. ground? Yeah. Yeah, but then he didn't. Yeah. But, I mean, hopefully he gets some cool names. I just mean... I just... not. I don't mean... I wonder if uh, All Might giving him, Izuku part of his power means that the All Might now currently has less power than he would have had. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you yeah. mean, like... Because it's a transfer, yeah. right? Like, I wonder if as he's giving Izuku more and more of his power, yeah. All Might is getting weaker and weaker as a hero. Yeah, I think that's the reasonable... Assumption? Yeah. Yeah. But I bet there's, there's a dark twist. Oh, probably. Like, he dies at the end? That's a, that's what it is. His power's oh, okay. keeping him alive? Yeah, okay. That, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's missing his whole stomach. Yep. Like, he lost his stomach. Yeah. So. And, uh, it's, yeah. I can see that. Um, Izuku's mom's finally happy. Yeah, and yo, like pre like in the time skip yeah. to her being she's kinda got the, she's the mom figure going on. She kinda yeah. looks she looks like a Russian stacking doll. Yeah, and for, <laughs> when they first showed her, because prior to this we'd only seen her in a flashback where she yeah. was like a young hot thing. Yeah. And then um now the first time they show her, I thought it was like a caricature caricature of her. Yeah. Of being just terrified. No. But it turns out, no, that's what she looks like now. She's shaped like a bowling pin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, nothing against that. It was just, it was weird. Yeah, it was like, yeah, because you only see her as, like, yeah. the young mom, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but she also has the same crying animation as her son does, so. Yeah. Which is awful. Eh. It's awful. It's okay. Oh, I get, ugh. every time I see a crying animation like that, I could taste the salt of my own tears. <laughs> Ew, that, why would you even go to that? That's weird. That's why I don't like crying animations oh. like that. It's disgusting. That's what I think. When you see it go down their face and like hits the corner of their lips, I'm like, like oh, oh, I can taste the salt. And the worst is when you see coming out their nose in the animation too, and you're oh, like, like, boogers. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to make an AMV that's just oh. compilations oh. of crying and mm. boogers. Yeah. Um, but yeah. but that, that's it for My Hero Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we have Keys Ni Kizaniver. Yeah, Keys Niver. Uh, this show continues to be a what is going on show. Yeah. Uh, this episode, the group fully established now, we'll say. Maybe. Maybe. Fully established. <laughs> and uh, now they're just hanging out. And they're, yeah, they're learning more about each other. Yeah, and they're just... Tr one of them really wants them to all to be friends. Yeah. And so much so that she, her entire mission throughout this entire episode is to get everybody to exchange numbers. Is it uh, Nico? Yeah, Nico yeah. wants to do that because she's like, we're all friends, right? And then the two mom, mom and dad figures are kind of yeah. like, no, we're just acquaintances. Yeah, we're just here. And so after, and then after she gets everybody to switch numbers, she's like, "Well, now we must be friends because only we friends change, change numbers. numbers." Exactly. Yeah. I like how they all use like near near yeah. <laughs> near interface touch or whatever. Called bash. Yeah, called bash. Yeah. That's that's the thing to take away from this episode. That yeah. that is a great app name for uh, something yeah. that when you touch phones, yeah. you transfer data. It's yeah. called bash. Uh, yeah. So, but again, we don't know where the show's going. What it's about. I still don't know what this show's about because they just added another twist. Yeah. Like, what? What, what is this girl? Wasn't the, she like one of the teachers? I thought. Sona's. No, not. Oh, Sona the other Zaki, girl. The other girl. The other yeah. girl. Yeah, she's, she's playing teacher. House of the Dead, and yeah. then she pulls out a what I thought was a super scope, and then just shoots an arcade machine. She's a guidance counselor. 
guidance counselor. That's it. So it seems like everyone at the school is kind of in on it because mm. we know the the homeroom teacher is in on it. Yep. Uh, now we know that the the guidance counselor is in on it. Uh, I just kind of want to know how deep these these connections go. Yeah. Um, also, at the end of this episode, they decide to go on a summer vacation trip. They do to bond, I guess. Yeah. But the the guidance counselor steals two kids. The two kids that were bullying the main character. Yeah. I can't remember his name. I only remember as uh, Kachan. Kachan. Yeah. They were bullying Kachan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for his money. It was those two characters. Yeah. The one that <laughs> the Tenga farted on. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a good flashback. Slow, <laughs> slow-mo farting sounds, <laughs> butt in his face. Um, uh, but yeah, it stole those two, two characters, flicked them in the head, and they're Kizanivers. Yeah. They have scars on their forehead. They are different scars. Yeah. They're not the same type of scars. Uh, but those two shared the pain. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what that means. What that means. I don't know if the group of seven that we're yeah. normally with yeah. felt that pain. Mm-hmm. Um, it kind of makes me wonder if there's going to be like some sort of Kizaniver war. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I think what I'm starting to do now with this show is because I don't know what is it's about. I'm not focusing on that anymore. Are you just on autopilot? Yeah. I'm kind of just like, um, like I'm just enjoying the moment to moment stuff we're having. Okay. It reminds me of like, you know, the persona games, but in between the dungeon doing. Yeah. Like when there's like, okay, the next dungeon is due in three months. You're like, oh, okay. Now is personality. Time. Yeah, I'm going to hang out with my buds. Like that's what I'm looking at the show as. And I'm having, I'm enjoying that. Like mm-hmm. I'm just enjoying hanging out with this crew. I like the characters all eccentric and, uh, I love, I still love the art style. And, uh, but like, I don't know. I, for some reason I have this feeling that after we get super invested with everybody, something's going to happen. Okay. And it's going to break my heart. I could see it. Yeah. Like, maybe, maybe someone will die. Maybe, or there's going to be a twist that you don't see coming. Um, I'm still waiting for the Life Fibers twist, because, like, those those mascots have the Life Fiber uh, yeah. uh, animation in their they eyes do, and stuff. They do, they do, they um, do. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What if... Let's hear me out here. Oh, God. Here they we are go. training Keys and Ivers mm-hmm. to battle the oncoming spirit space pirate threat that's going on in Luluco. That's some fucking fucked up shit. And then they cross show, like the show cross, like they intersect. That would be really cool, but that hinges on the fact that the audience members are watching both shows. Exactly. And I just don't know if they can risk that. Because there's Life Fiber stuff in Luluco as well. Mm-hmm. What was her mom's name? Lalako? Lalako. Space pirate Lalako. That's a good show. God, that's the best. That's the actual best anime of the season. Can we, can we have a part where we talk about Luluko every week too? Uh, sure. Really, you just cave like that? That's my favorite anime of the season. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. It's kind of it's like my favorite anime. That's not JoJo. Like JoJo's a known quantity. You're crazy. That JoJo's a known quantity for me, and I really like that arc. Crazy. Because episode five is really good. You just watch yeah. it. But yeah, Luluko is something else. It's the best kind of something else. Space pirates. Yeah. Maybe we'll get more in depth on that in the next episode. Yeah, justice is over. <laughs> fire from fire! Oh my god, that show's so good. If you're not watching Space Patrol Luluko, what are you doing with your life? I mean, if you're watching Keys and Ivor, I have to assume you're watching Luluko. And if you're not, yeah, then I don't even know. Just because the only people who are watching Keys and Ivor at the moment are Trigger fans. True. And if you're a Trigger fan, you're watching Luluko. Man. Yeah. Just great. Mm-hmm. But there you go. That's it for us. Uh, we don't have a preview for Kids Niver 5. Uh, yeah. We had a preview for Hero 5. Yeah. Um, but it's just high school stuff. Just high school stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's get into the Shonen yeah. aspects. Or, or into the, mid, the mid-season the mid game now mm-hmm. of both shows. Um, I'm expecting some deep character development. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm expecting at least something to happen in Kids Niver because... I want something to happen. <laughs> if Keys and Iver, I can't. I can't remember. Is Keys and Iver twenty six episodes, twenty four? I can't remember either. Because if it is, then I'm I'm not expecting anything to happen until we get to the tens. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, or mm. is it going to be episode eight? Oh shit. Yeah. Shit. The, the episode eight curse. I see you did there. Oh yeah, that's true. Is something going to happen in episode eight? Fuck. 
Uh, I don't know, man. I'm excited. Kamen is not dead. Oh! <laughs> He's come back. Oh. He's just been sent to a different time. Oh. I still want to believe, going back to Luluko, that the mom is Ryuko before she comes back to Earth at the end of the series. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd also be cool. Uh, because, what the fuck? She's wearing the Fashion Week outfit with a pirate hat. Yeah. And uh, she's got all her powers. <laughs> She's even got the life fibers in the cape. Yep. So, whatever. Uh, but that's all we got this week, guys. It's Yeah, it's, anime's fun. Yeah, anime's great. Um, uh, I wanted to say, are you watching anything outside of our uh, our two picks that you would like to recommend? I am. All right. I'm watching uh, Kanabari of the Iron Fortress. Okay, you're still watching that? I'm still watching it. I'm still enjoying the hell out of that. Okay. Um, I'm actually watching a lot. Okay, we'll, we'll just pick one that you would recommend. Yeah, so I'd pick that, Kanabari. Okay, Kanabari is the one that stood out to you the most this week? Yeah. Mm, oh, you mean this week? Because like, so like, we have we have our two picks that we're going to talk in depth about. Like yeah. Maybe I thought we could have one each that really stood out to us that we're watching. That Like, this week, this episode shined of this series. Okay, then I haven't watched Kanabari yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, the only thing I watched was Luluko. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, I'm actually, it's like a late one. I'm still watching, I haven't finished Shride. But, oh! Yeah. Okay. Uh, Prince of Stride, uh-huh. Summer, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just watched a couple episodes of that to mm-hmm. try and catch, to mm-hmm. try and finish it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still really enjoying that show. Oh, so okay. That's a completed show you could marathon if you want. It's only 12 episodes. 13. Yeah. 13? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks, guys, for listening. And thanks for tuning in. If you tuned in, um, let your, leave your thoughts down below. Yeah. We will answer them and talk about them next time, I guess. Yeah, we will. Uh, also, if you enjoyed our lovely cast of members this week... Um, these are Anthony's. Obviously, I don't collect this garbage. What? This is mine? Thanks. Uh, Thanks, Vince. I know that you wouldn't like that, so... I I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, all the One Piece stuff is mine, and then uh. my poorly built Gundam is also mine. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, we're going to try and weave it up. Yeah, we further, are. Further every I, week. Yeah, definitely. Um, hopefully, one day. By the end of... Maybe by the end of this, this series... The entire set will just be... We'll have the desk full. Yeah. There'll be stuff over there. Mm, stuff stuff off screen. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Peace out.